Oh. Is this been live? Hello? Hello? I feel like I need to sort my camera out a bit. Uh, Cause I'm pretty close to the screen. We get that zoom in. Is that doing anything? Oh. Okay, we're small now. We did it. Okay. So this is just a test stream, really. Just to see, like, set up and stuff. Oh. So, this is Dicey Dungeons. I played, like, the intro level, just to kind of work out what was happening. We played as this dude. Episode 1. So this is the one I did, I think. So it says wins 1, losses 0. To unlock episodes, play a game with five contestants. Shall I just do this one again? I think maybe, maybe I should switch to... Maybe I should switch to this guy. I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to win. So this is a difficulty two star. This one's difficulty one star. Let's try the two star one. Because obviously the first one was easy peasy. So I just bash my beer can against the mic there. Oh no no no. Oh no no no. Let me just check the audio a sec. How's we doing? Looks okay. Most of the uh, game capture to freeze when I tab out. That's useful. Hmm. Thief. So I think all the different characters have like a different set of like role abilities to start off with. Um. Oh, we're going to win a billion dollars. You could do a lot with a billion dollars. That's true. Okay, so we can either fight Doggo or ice cream. I guess if we fight Doggo first, that way we get the uh, treasure chest straight away. See what's in there. Hopefully some good loot. Wolf puppy is strong against poison. Okay. So what can we do? Oh no, these are his abilities? Okay. So he can... Wait, no, these are our abilities. Oh, so we also just happen to have Wolf Puppy Bite. Or do we, because we're a thief, do we like steal his abilities? Hmm. Okay, so we could put an even dice in here and it does four damage. This one does damage, but we can only use it if we've got up to a three. Lockpick split a dice in two. So if I put this one in here, is it going to give us two twos? No, but it doesn't have to be even. Oh, okay. So now I can put these boys in here. Because we need that max three. And then the four in here. Okay. I think we got all we could out of that turn. So he gets a repeat next action. Which means now if he puts this in here, it happens twice. Oof. Unlock it. Unlucky roll. Roll four extra ones. 
and I can use that at any time. And so this one's unusable, so I can I can ping all them straight to here. Oh, and this time I've chosen I've stolen his other ability, which is the the woof woof woof, which lets me do something twice. Don't feel like that's going to be much use to me. And I guess let's let's do this anyway, just to get the damage. Oh, oh, this time it split it three and one. Interesting. I mean, it, do, it does the same either way, so... Because we're just going to pick all these into here. Oh, we killed him! Oh, well, I should have paid attention to how much health he had. Nice. Easy. We did lose eight health on that, which I feel like is a lot. So we got the bump. Dice value add one. I'm guessing it's already equipped that for us. Yeah. Nice. Okay, time to fight the little slime. I think after we fight this guy, we're going to level up. And that will reset our health bar anyway. Okay, so this time we've stolen Slime Ball. Which is add to poison. You can use it on any even uh, thing. So I feel like we should put that in there. Which poisons him. Wait, what does that do? Oh, wait, that just does poison. Oh, okay, so I, I probably messed that up because I should have used the bump. And then split the four and put the others in there. Never mind. It's all a learning experience. I think it's going to take a little bit of time to, like, read. Sorry, beer's more important than the game. It's going to take me a little bit of time to learn how to quickly read what all the things do. So this doesn't do any damage, it just adds two poison. Because if it does damage, it has to have this little symbol on it. So this one's a max three, so we can put that in there straight away. If we split this in two, we can hope that it gives us two two instead of three one. And if not, we can just add one to make one of them even anyway. So we put that in there, and that one in there. Okay, so that actually worked out pretty well for us. I'll lose three heart at the start of the turn. So we probably don't really have to poison it anymore. Uh, roll four extra ones. Might as well. So, we're gonna... Might as well give him more poison anyway. Even though, even though it doesn't matter, because we're gonna kill him now. I saw it, I swear. Definitely didn't realise afterwards that he was on really low health. No, no, no. You are now level 2. Maximum health increased by 4. And that will also refill our health for us. And we got an extra dice. Nice. I'm going to say at the moment, I think I was happier playing the first character. Because you get re-rolls with that one. You can, I feel like you can control your turns a little bit better. Maybe after this I'll go back and show you that one, because it's pretty cool. Stereo Head is weak to shock. I don't remember what shock does. Spoilers. Oh, is this shock here? Oh, Sonic Wave. So that's that's one of his moves. But I don't know what this stone thing is. It just says weakens enemy. <laughs> Whatever that means. So, so this one does... Should we just find out? Let's, let's pop a four in there, see what happens. So it did four damage to him. Temporarily weakens random equipment. Ah, okay. So we can hope for three threes. Or two threes even. Oh, that's the worst possible combination it could have given us. Okay, well we did a bit of damage, not very much. So he's weakened us now. So this one... Uh, now we can only bump a low value dice. Well, that's okay, because we can put that in there. Get ourselves a four, and hope that we do better with the split this time. No, it's five and one again. That is very unfortunate. Oh, he's going to weaken us again. He's not really doing d much damage, though, which I suppose is good. Uh, oh, did he not weaken anything? I thought he weakened us that time. Okay. Well... Let's see what we get out of this five. So we can pop that in there. And then just pop all of these into here. 
Okay, he's only got five health left. I think we can deal with that. It's a bit valuable too. I don't really see how that's weakened. Or can I just not use it now? Oh, so now it only gives me one of the dice if I split it into two? That is harsh. Wow, that's actually really fucked my turn over. Because I can't really do anything. I mean, I can do... I can do that. And that's it. Wow, he survived another turn with that. Okay, what's he weakened this time? I can only use max 2 on that. Okay, that's all I need. Boom, he's dead. So that guy didn't really do much damage, but it was just really irritating. I need some new, uh, I need some new weapons for this guy. I don't suppose you've got any cassettes with you from literally any year after 1986. I don't. I don't. I do still, we do still have some cassettes somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where they are, but they're around. Okay, we can get the treasure. Reduce. One damage from each attack. I don't know what this symbol means. Is that just one? Et I mean, we'll, we'll have it because we, we don't have anything else. But I don't really know what that means. I guess we're just going to have to find out. Time to fight the alchemist. Oh, okay, so we've stolen her fire potion. That does 8 damage, burns all the dice, but we can only use it once every battle. Okay. I might, might as well put this into here. Take less damage from every attack this turn. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll split this... Actually, if we split this one... Mm, let's split this one. Okay, so we're going to put that into there, and then we'll, we might as well just use the burn straight away. Okay, good, good, good. We've got our unlucky roll ready to go as well, so that's good for this. Transform into a bear required 12 health. That's really useful. Um, we might as well get the reduce again. Do we want to just recover 12 health? Can we kill? If we split this? No, we can't. I think maybe we recover the 12 health. And then bear, oh, bear smash does 10 damage. Okay, that, that was worth it. Definitely worth it. Oh, they got bad rolls as well. Strong play, strong play. Oh, so bear maul. Whoa, this is overpowered as heck. Okay, that was cool. We're back to full health. Uh, we either get six extra health, but I can't remember what health we were on, or we can get the bear charge, which repeats next action on ten. Oh, we just stay as the bear. Holy crap. That's super overpowered. It's kind of annoying that I have to eat this health to go to go through it. Oh, I don't. I can just walk past it. Hell yeah. Jester equipment changes every turn. Yeah, we fought the Jester on the last level as well. Uh, so, I reckon... I reckon we just go, go all out ham. All out ham. That's an expression. Uh, how much more damage do we need? 
Eight. Okay, we'll just kill him next time. Wow, that bop is awful. We got the bear smash ready. Should we kill him with the bear smash? Do we reckon that's achieved? No, sadly not. The thought was nice. Uh, I guess we get our get our apples. What can we buy in the shop? Oh, we can't use the shop as the bear. Interesting. Uh, I guess we go for the chest. But again, because I'm the bear, am I even going to get to use the chest? There's really not much variety in the bear gameplay. It's just put your highest two dice in attack and then slowly bring down the... Oh, that's awful. Slowly bring down the repeat next action. This wizard's got like a million different spells. Oh, and he's burnt us as well. Uh, okay, limit break. That means I can kill him without burning myself. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, th this limit break, it fills up whenever we take damage. Uh, if you hadn't worked that out. Which you might have done, because you probably aren't as slow as I am. Oh, I didn't even look in the chest. God damn it. See what I mean? Yeti is weak to fire. Uh, well, we don't really have any fire attacks, so that's not particularly helpful. So freezing the dice changes our dice to one, which is which is actually kind of uh, powerful against us. But we can kill him next time. Oh, we've already got nine health left. Christ. Okay, being the bear kind of sucks. Am I going to level up? Oh, I leveled up. Okay, good. We're back to... Oh, and we get an extra dice, which is good for us as well. That's probably quite strong with this character, because it means we can bring down our repeat pretty quickly. Uh, okay. Oh, so that changes that to five? Okay, yeah, I definitely want that. There we go for the I still haven't got that chest that's over there. <laughs> Don't let me forget it. Because I will. So what we want to do... We want to repeat the next action. And then go in for the double 8 damage. And get this bad boy in. Boom, look, he's almost dead. One turn. We've got our bear smash ready. Well, these two dice are blind now, but it's okay, because we can just kill. Boom. Easy. And now we can go back for one of these hearts as well. See, I, I obviously kept them on purpose. Bear swipe. Do damage. Return the dice? Oh, so I just get a free... Nice. Do I have that auto-equipped? I do. Sweet. Man, I love this bear. I feel like I must have got really lucky on this run or something and that you don't always get the bear. Okay, so we've got a direwolf, a haunted jar, and a rhino beetle. So if we fight rhino beetle first, then we get the chest. Oh, he seems pretty strong, but we've rolled some decent dice here. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that can go into here. So we're just going to have to go... Repeat that action... And end the turn. Do five damage, lock a dice. Can't remember what lock does. That either means I can't use it, or it freezes it so that I can't change the number. It's something like that. Boom. Dead. GG, easy. So I would turn the dice thing actually isn't necessarily all that useful because we've got the right number of dice for our setup anyway. Recover health. That's probably a good idea. Maybe I want that instead of the 
damage one. Yeah, I think so. Haunted Jar. Haunted Jar is strong against poison. Okay. So we can recover four health straight away. Get the get the double. Maybe I should have put the Maybe I should have put both threes in and then used the five. And then doubled the five. Who knows? I'm not good at games, okay? You can't expect me to pay attention. So poison, lose two health at the start of each turn. Each turn. Turn, 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 turn. What? Uh, repeat next action. So we probably want to recover two health. Oh, that was probably a bad play because I could have done more damage, right? I was just trying to like min max my health. Double poison. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, we probably want to keep our limit break and then use it at the start of next turn, uh, the next battle, right? If I just, if I just double that. And then we get to keep our limit break. Per hacks. Uh, let's have a look in the shop. Oh yeah, we can't use the shop as a bear. I remember. I remember. Hello, Mr. Direwolf. Okay. So let's start off with the bear smash. Might as well. Free 10 damage. Um, okay, so already he only has eight left. Pro streaming hack. Always check your phone. Midstream. Um, okay, that was easy. Wait, what was that? What was that skull thing? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I look like a dumbass now, because I literally just said it was easy. Uh, we want the upgrade equipment. Um, I guess we can just upgrade either of these. Both the same, isn't it? We don't even need the health. Because we leveled up. Ooh, this is an icy level. Okay, Wicker Man. I've definitely fought this guy before. So he's weak to fire. So if we put one of these in here for the double, get the double there and recover some health even though we don't need to. Boom. Good turn. Strong turn. Yeah, there's definitely no way that everyone just plays as the bear first time, right? Uh... Uh, do we want to... Yeah, it's probably still worth doubling, isn't it? If we double the plus four, that'll do 16 damage. Oh, that kills it. Perfect. I feel like I've played for an hour, and I'm already an expert. You can tell me I'm wrong if you like, but you'd be sorely mistaken. Okay, so we want to upgrade our other bear maul. Oh, I probably should have looked in the chest first and said it was something good. Another bear swipe? Didn't we already have a bear swipe? Oh yeah, no, I already, already took it out. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, let's save the apples. Most people don't play as their bear on their... The front. That's what I thought, Zordi. When I got it, I'm like, this seems like... I don't know. I feel like the first game of Thief, you would expect to play more as the Thief. I think I just got really, really lucky. Oh, I've lost the game. It's back. We did it. Okay. So. Now, is it worth doubling with the six? 
or doubling with, and then using no, that, no, that's a terrible play. What we're talking about, I think maybe we just double this. That that's actually probably less damage overall, isn't it? Because I missed out on the other four. I don't know. I don't know. I can't think. But it's almost nine o'clock. Okay, don't blame me. My brain is switched off. So he's just going to freeze all our dice and turn them all into ones, which is kind of lame. What am I doing? You may or may not be able to tell. I'm not used to streaming. Okay, so we've got all ones, which means we can't repeat anything. So we're just going to have to just accept the 10 damage and recover. And then maybe next time. Okay, we only got two frozen. He did take the five, which is kind of annoying, but we kept the four. Um, so if we double up the six damage, that's something at least. And then we keep a dice for that. We've also left our bear swipe ten damage over. So we can use that against Singer, which I don't think I've gone against before. Maybe I haven't, I've just forgotten. Question is, do we fight Singer first or Skeleton first? I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we still got our best mess, so we might as well just use that straight away. What can Singer do? So they're basically just going to weaken all of our stuff. Oh, that do 12 damage kind of sucks. Okay. So we can either go repeat the six for 20 damage. Or, yeah, I think we've got to do that, right? That gets us more than just putting like six in here for 10, three in there for seven. Let's do it. Uh, and then we're done. Beautiful singing voice. Yeah, we really want to avoid that do 12 damage, so we want to get this over with quick. Uh, do question mark damage. Okay, so, oh, that is really harsh. So we probably want to double this one, seeing as we've got it left over. So that's going to do 20 damage and kill them. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we don't really need the apple yet. Skeleton. What's the skeleton do? Uh, it's a curse. Uh, I think that was the skull thing before. I think it does something like when you, the first time you use one of your weapons, it just like ignores it. And this, you just put any two dice in it. Or does that have to be the same number? I don't know. Let's, let's find out. And like that. Professional-looking stream, dude. Tom. I, d I don't know what you think professionalism looks like, but I can assure you it's it's not this. You are you are sorely mistaken. Thank you, though. I feel like this could be a professional stream, but only if you spell professional wrong. Uh, you are now level 6 at max level. We get an extra dice, which again, I don't really think is that useful for us in this setup. Profit, that's more like it, Tom. 100%. 100%. Professional. It's in there somewhere. Bear versus Buster. Okay, so I played this guy last time. And when I was playing him as the warrior last time, like I had a really fire heavy setup. And this guy's really strong against fire. So it was kind of cursed. But I don't have any fire in the setup, so we should be good. Curse makes equips have a 50% chance to do nothing. Ah, uh, thank you, Zordi. That is helpful. I'm sure I probably said that somewhere, but I just completely ignored it. Okay. So, let's get the double up over here. And recover the health. Do I have a bear smash? I don't. That's fine.
Now, actually, now I've got an extra dice, I can probably have a little bit more of a think about how I want to activate my repeat, right? So if I put this in here, or if I put that, if I put both of these in here, then I get a better double. So maybe, maybe I want to do that. Um, that still gets me two health, so it's worth doing. And I feel like that's worth doing as well. Oh, we got a bear smash. So we only have to do six damage next time, and then we've won. Oh god. Uh, okay, it's not worth not worth hurting ourselves. Let's just take take the dub. GG. Well, I'm glad I got to see that that bear thing. Because it, it sounds like the kind of thing you don't get very often. I guess you have to steal that power off of... Oh, uh, we didn't get the car again. We're 0-2 on the victory wheel. It's just as taunting us. Didn't we kill you? Boom. Thief episode 1. Complete. We've unlocked the robot. Okay, let's give the robot a go. Let's look at this little dude. Beep boop humans. Haha, <laughs> just joking. I can definitely talk. I love color-coded to-do lists and pushing myself to the limits. Fun fact, I don't think I have ever made a to-do list. And if I have, I certainly had no intention of completing it. Boom. The robot. Chrome boy. I want to eliminate my need to sleep. Sleep is like the best part of the day, though. Immortality, that's that's more like it. Oh, it's like leafy, foresty boy. Uh, so what do we get with this setup? Pea shooter. Five, do two damage. So I have to get a five for that? That seems kind of bad. And this one is max five. Okay, this does this. This seems pretty pretty tricky. Uh, we want to go for the chest first. Naturalish. Robobot. Oh. Calculate. Uh. Uh. It's a countdown of five. Oh, you're right. Oh, so I, I have to get at least five, and then it rolls over. Yeah. Duh. What, what's this thing, uh, Zordi? So it calculated, and it gave me a four, and then this went up four. Do I have to try and get to nine? What happens if I go over nine? Help me, Zordi! <laughs> I'm lost without you! Do I just risk it? I don't want to risk it. I might as well put this in here, either way. You error? So is that bad? So I, I, I don't want to go over? If I error, do I just not get to use my turn? Is it worth erroring... Now, now that I don't have any dice left to use. Let's have a look. Error. Oh yeah, so that, that, that loses all my all my stuff. Okay, fine. So it's always worth having a go at the end. Interessant. Okay. Five. Let's put this in here just in case we error out. Two. Perfect. Okay, I, li I like this. Got some, like, blackjack vibes. A little bit of risk-taking involved. Mm. Okay. Boom. Nice and easy. What do we got in the chest? Uh, dice value minus one. Sure. Might as well, no harm. Um. 
Oh, so this is good, because if I get a 6, I can bring it down to a 5 and use it on that. Oh! Okay, oh, so if you get exactly 9, you get to do some stuff. So we can either get an extra roll, which might get us 2 damage. So that's not really that great. So we probably just want to do the 5 damage. And then... Let's just ping that down so it's ready to go next time with whatever we got left over. Oh, that seems like a pretty bad weapon. But okay. Five. Boom. Dead. Easy. Okay, I think this is my favorite character so far. In terms of just the mechanics of it. Oh, and we don't get hearts, we get CPU. Is that right? Uh, oh, CP oh, wait. Oh, is CPU the, like, magic number we have to hit? So the more of that we get, the more dice we can roll. I see. Okay, let's jump over these apples. Dryad is strong against poison. Okay, we don't have any poison, so that's not a problem. Yup, yup, yup. Adds four poison. So that damages us for four turns. Uh, limit break. Jackpot guaranteed. Okay, so I don't want to use that now. I'm going to roll some dice. Okay, so now, because there's decent odds that I'm going to go over, I use the auto roll to fill us to 11. We get the two. And then we got this stuff. Okay. So let's turn that into a five. Let's get that. Uh, and I guess we just do the five damage. Okay. Okay. Oh no, we're going to take the poison. Ouch. Oh, boom. Uh, nice. <laughs> I swear sometimes I'm looking at the screen like spending an hour making a decision. Uh, only for it to just be staring me in the face. Welcome to my life. Mm. If you want to know what I'm drinking, it is Be Even More Pacific. Can you see that? Just wait for the stream to catch up. Oh, and the green makes it all spooky. It's in front of my face. You can see through my face. It is a California IPA, and it's very tasty. I've got an advent calendar that gives me a, uh, a beer every day this month, or like up till Christmas. Pretty delicious. Pretty darn delicious. Okay, mechanical arm. Do one damage. Add one for each. Add one each roll. Okay, so. Right, I think I'm going to have to see that in action for that to make sense in my head. So let, let's take on Sneezy here. Okay, so if I roll now, is this going to go up to two? Yes, it does. Interessant. Ooh. Okay, four's pretty close. Maybe we should put this in here. No, we should put this in here. And then put the... Oh, no, because that one's got to be even. Okay. Oh, I could have used this to make it even. Oh, what a dumb dumb. Okay, it's fine. We're, we're learning how to play the character. It's all good. Okay, we got the auto roll this turn, which is handy. Right. So that's that's pretty good. Just as a uh, uh, Do I want to auto roll now? 
we think it's worth it? We don't really have anything we can use it on other than doing the two damage. I feel like maybe we wait until we get a better opportunity to use it. Oh no, because we get the we get the five damage, don't we? I'm gonna risk it. Oh, it's good. It's good. Nice. So we do the lucky shot. And we get that ready for next turn. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, what the fuck was that? You spiky bastard. Well, oh, we've already got the jackpot ready. Okay, we want to put that in there. Oh, and that, that wins it for us. Nice. Oops. Sorry if we keep losing the uh, the game, by the way. Every time I uh, tab out, it disappears. Ultimate weapon. Do blank damage. Double on jackpot. Or do blank damage immune to errors. Oh, so after I error out, I can still use it in there. I feel like if I'm going to error out every time, I'm always going to have a dice left over. So this is always going to do damage. Oh, I feel like I want that. I mean, the double on jackpot idea is pretty cool. But I feel like just realistically, that's going to give us more options. Uh, so we definitely want this in here. Buster Sword won't disappear on error. Yeah, I thought that's what it meant. So it's handy, right? Because if you're, if you're going to error out pretty much every turn anyway, it's like guaranteed guaranteed damage every turn. Oh, uh, what? Do, uh, all of my dice burns now? Oh, that's lame. Oh, and these are some bad rolls as well. Um, okay. I can only use this once, so maybe I want to put this in here and then just see what error gets us. It's probably going to be more than a three, right? Oh yeah, because it had to be more than a three, otherwise we wouldn't error out. Okay, okay. Only four damage to do next turn. So Zordi, have you played a lot of this game? I actually only just installed it about an hour ago, two hours ago. Ooh, hello. Nice. Uh, we want to go back for the health. Let's double check the shop. We got five coins. On ten, roll two sixes. What's our setup? Do three damage, three uses this turn. Add a shield. Oh, I'm not sure about shields. This is kind of lame-o. Uh, roll two sixes. We've got the thing that lets us take away, but we can only use that once. And then the additional six is just two damage. Do three damage, three uses this turn. I feel like this is the one. The ray gun. Okay, off we go. Into the unknown. Oh. Oh. Right, so first up, we've got to go baby squid. Let's get the chest. Boom. Oh, we got the auto roll. Nice. So we're going to go... Five. This one's min three, so we're going to put that in there. And then we got the Buster Sword to clean up. 
I'm a fan of the Buster Sword. I think I chose well. And we still got oh we got the auto rule as well. I should have used that last time. No, that was stupid of me. Um Yes. Let's get the auto roll in now. Let's get this boy in here. Boop. Boop. I should probably get the edge sharp on my phone. That would be that would be handy. It's okay. We're, we're dual screening it up. Healing crystal, recover, recover some health. Oh, this seems kind of lame. Is there anything in my setup that I'm not really using? Hmm, do I replace this? And I'm not really using it. And two damage isn't that great for five. This one's max three. I'm quite often left with low dice because I've got a couple of minimums in here. Uh, let's let's swap it out. Might be handy if we get some just like random dice left over, I suppose. Oh, I didn't realize we're quite low on health, so actually the the ha the uh, the heals are probably pretty handy. Uh, so this is just a, a poison dude. Fine. Uh, that does three damage. That does three damage. Doesn't really matter. It's going to be the same result anyway, isn't it? Just Oh no. Oh, he got some big rolls. That's some bullshit. Rigged. Oh. The commentary is really poor right now. I apologize. My brain is throwing numbers at me at supersonic speed. Oh, it's my turn already. <laughs> so supersonic, I literally don't even notice that it's my turn. Oh, there was no need for me to risk that. What a dumbass. If I lose now, I'm blaming Zordi. It's all your fault, my guy. How dare you. Oh. Do do. Do do. That was tense music, because we were. Uh... Oh, what are the odds? <laughs> oh, we leveled up. Oh, so we get all our health back. Nice, nice, nice. What should we level up? So that does damage plus two. It doesn't really matter that that can't do sixes because we can always turn a six into a five. That's handy. Yeah, I want that one. I'll just check the ray gun. Yeah, no. It's handy not having that have to be even. Uh, okay, so we can't scrub out there. So let's put this boy in here. That's min three. Might as well just take the four damage, right? Oh, boom! Uh, this doesn't really matter. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, there's a lot of different stuff going on here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, this needs a six now. Unbelievable. Why is this, why is this hollowed out? Uh, max three. Oh, that was max five before. Okay. Boop. We did it. What's in the shop? Probably should have gone there first. Use an additional jackpot ability. So that would mean I could roll another dice and uh, roll another dice and do five damage. That could be pretty handy. Let's take that. Um, I don't really use the healing crystal at all. Okay, level four. What do we got? Um, let's get this guy out of the way. Just so we can get the chest. We've got this heart in backup. How close are we to leveling up? Can we see that? Level up in 11 stars. What does that mean? I guess that means we leveled up quite recently. Okay. Can we only use this on jackpot? Oh, so do we have to change the jackpot and then put a thing in there? Ah, uh, I see. Maybe that wasn't the best choice. I thought so. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. I'm trying to think like what would be a good combination to go with this. Place a dice to release the shock. Oh. Let's just get that in before we risk rolling again. Hmm. So I could, will it let me put that in there? Do I want do I want to risk putting that in there? What would happen if I try and put a dice in there when I haven't activated the jackpot? Will it just not let me? Or will it save it for when I hit the jackpot? Okay, so we can go jackpot this time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it does nothing. Uh, so it just wastes your dice. So you got to pay attention. That is the kind of thing I would do. Uh, max three, do damage, get a new dice. Oh, I like that. Don't we have one that's literally just like do three? That's kind of lame. Do one damage, add one. Do uh, So that one does three damage, but I can use it three times. But it has to be min three. This one's max three, and I can use it to, like, rotate dices through. I feel like that's better. Uh, so they want the do damage for the dice upside. For the dice upside down. Oh, so that you take the net of seven. So if it's a two, you get a five. No, I don't want that. So you lost the dice and the equip for the turn. <laughs> so that's that's a, that is a me play, for sure. I like this one for just cycling through dice. Let's just do six damage now. Okay. 
Boom. Boom, boom, boom. What are the odds? Okay. Wait, is, there's literally no point in me doing this anyway, is there? No. I don't have anything that could do damage anyway. We got the auto roll. But we only have to do seven damage anyway. Wait, did this happen last time? Does he have an effect that just gives me ones? Oh, it does, because he's got loads of freeze effects, so I'm always going to roll. Freeze is good for the robot? Yeah, because you just get loads of dice, right? Uh, I can actually roll again, and then that kills him. Nice. That snowburn looks snowburn, snowburn. That snowman looks really creepy. By the way, the way he stood. You had a chance to get checkpoint. Do, does that matter? Because I, I could just kill him, right? Is it is it worth me getting the jackpot even if I could just kill him straight away? Or do you mean like a previous turn? Let's talk about the turn before you beat him. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you may have worked out. I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at games. I, I feel like there's, a, there's like a little Hearthstone element to this. Actually, I used to play a lot of Hearthstone, and um, it's got that same kind of like running numbers through your head to see if there's a, a route for, for lethal. But I, I was never any good at Hearthstone. I played a lot of it, but I wasn't any good. Blind target thirteen. What? That's insane. Oh, oh, how many of these are blind? Two. <laughs> what are the odds? Okay, so we know these two sum to ten, which is interesting. Um, I guess doing that's probably... Oh, he, he poisoned us or cursed us. What can this guy do? Kraken. So he blinds two dice on five, which is, that's really awful for this character. If, okay, if he gets a four, he can curse us. Three damage plus one each use. Oof. Uh, so this one. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to how much damage that did to him. I could have worked out what this was. And I also should have put it in there. You know what? I just accept how bad I am. Why does he get so many dice? What the fuck? Oh, he didn't get any fours anyway. Oh, did we die? No! No, robot, please. Oh, but we still unlock the next character? How come? Surely you have to, surely you have to beat the level to, to unlock the next character, right? This guy's even more difficult. I want. I want another crack at the robot. I. I, th I think. I can. I think I can get used to that. Skippy, skip, 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 skip. Okay. Robo dude. Okay. Oh, that was a piss poor turn. Bang, and the beer is gone.
You only need to play their first episode. Oh, so you don't actually have to win. You just have to play it. Add shield. Okay. And the adventure isn't too hard. Is there any, any logic behind the difficulty at all? Because obviously this one's three star and inventor's four. Oh, nice. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yes, there is. Oh. That is disgusting for me. Boom. Level up. Uh... God, so many paths to take. I guess if we go this way, we can get to the shop and maybe there's something good in there. I've played this stereo head guy before. I seem to remember he doesn't do much damage, but he's really annoying to play against. Because he just weakens you all the time. But he can only do like four damage a turn on each. Mm. That's kind of irritating, not going to lie. I know, that's fine. Because even if it's a six, then we... And we win. Oh, that's max three now. Sure. Uh... Oh, we fucked it. What a scrub. I, f I forgot this was going to be max 3. His best turn is 8 damage and 2 weaken. Yeah, right. Uh, do I want to do 1 damage? And then put this in here. Sure, I guess I don't really need the shield that much. Uh, oh, that is disgusting again for me. I feel awful. It's like the third time I've hit I've hit jackpot <laughs> so far. <laughs> Without auto rolling. Ooh. Oh, but it's max three again! You son of a bitch. Well. This guy sucks. Look at him with his little snap of the fingers. Can you actually see what I'm doing? Go to one of them. Stop doing this one, you bitch! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's so... I'm, I'm triggered. I'm really triggered. What's that? It's going to give me four, so I can't even use it in this anyway. We can literally any of the other ones. Oh, but he weakens two at a time, doesn't he? <sighs> Low ball me. So that's max three, that's max three. So all I can do is put this in here. And use it again. Wait, he's weakened all three. Wow. Okay, we're up to the max five on this one. That's actually handy. We can kill him. Nice. And we've got our we've got our break for next turn. Our auto roll. Uh, if we kill one more guy, we'll level up as well, which is good to know. So there's no point taking that other apple now, unless we think they're going to kill us. Do that amount of damage. We've already got one of them. I've used that before. It was kind of meh. But Reagan, we've already got all of these. 
Oh no, because we've just started a new setup, haven't we? Sorry. I feel like this has options. These two, like the min max, I've already got loads of that. I'm going to take it. Just go straight in, right? Yeah. Do we think we can survive 16? I remember Baby Squid not being too bad. And we've got the auto roll as well, so we know we're going to have a good ish turn. What do we think the odds of this being a 6 are? Oh. You don't have a min-x equipment? Do I not? Um, perhaps I'm thinking of a... Uh, I must just be thinking of my last setup then. Oh, we're blind again. How blind are we? Just one. Oh. Oh no. There's no way we're working this out, do we? We know we got we know we got max seven. Oh wait, if we look at so he's on fifteen. Right, so that was a two. So we know we're on three, so we know we can go for another dice. That takes us up to six. Nice. We've got eight shield now. It's probably probably not worth doing much more shield. Oh, okay, well our shield is gone. And we didn't get blinded. Parfait. Uh boom. Level up, get the health back. Oh, this one, yeah, this one's useful. I prefer that to the jackpot one. I feel like I didn't really use that last time. Oh, and it fits in nicely too. Perfect. This bitch guarding the chest. Okay. Nice. Can we kill this turn? Unlikely. Uh, we want that to be even so that we get the damage for it. I guess I'll take that as a shield because this has to be more than two to cancel. Boom. Dead next turn. Easy. Uh, we'll save the auto roll because we don't need it. We already visited the shop. Mechanical arm, do one damage. Uh, uh, yeah, that was useful last time, I feel like. I'm not really using that at all. I'm going to swap it for the mechanical arm. Okay, so we've got plenty of health here, which is good. Spiky boy. Hmm. Shield, shield, da I think we... Oh, that's even only. Let's we take this in case this is okay. Oh, nice! He's pretty much dead already. Oh, he got the doubles. Well, that actually really didn't help him because he's just going to die next turn, right? Bad play from Mister Mister Hodgehead. 
Oh. 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 Oh, it's okay. I, don't know. I was about to be fuming. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dice volume minus one. That was handy if it was a six last time. But we, do we still have that max five thing? What would I replace though? Shield? Uh, do we want shield or do we want? Do we want the reduced dice value? If we get a six, we can just use. Oh, we can't use it on that. The six is kind of dead. I feel like maybe we want to put this back in and ditch the shield. Got the Chester here. God knows what he's going to do. The focus is real. I'm definitely paying a lot more attention this time than I was last round. In the last round, we were terrible, so that's probably a good thing. Oh, we've been frozen. Okay. Uh, so we want to take the damage. We want to put you in there. We can get three shield off of that. What happens if I put a one in here? Just this seems easy. Yeah, I was thinking that. If I put a one in here, do I get a six? Or does it just disappear? Oh, it's minimum two. Duh. Okay, so we know it's going to be more than one, even though it's that not that much more than one. Uh, shock. Uh, shock is the one that disables it, and then you have to put a uh, a dice in. So, how much do we have to do? Six. Uh, I forget what the mechanical... Oh, the mechanical arm is the one where every roll does more, right? So that'll do four. And that'll do three. We leveled up, so we don't need any more hearts. Uh, spike shield means I can use a six with it. Buster sword is damage plus two. That's probably pretty good. Bump gives a six and a one if you use it on a six. Oh, okay. Oh, so bump is the opposite of nudge, where it adds one instead. That would mean I could use it on the six, which would make nudge use this. Oh, and this doesn't have to be even then? Yeah, okay, I want to upgrade that. Oh, I probably should have gone to the shop first, right? That's kind of shit. It's like the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> uh, I guess I auto roll just for better dice. Oh, that, that auto roll gave me two dice? Oh, because I got the five and then... Wait, where did this two come from? I don't know. By the way, let's put that in there. Turn it into a five. So that's going to give us poison, but it's only going to affect us for one turn. Yeah. 
You leveled up. Uh, oh, this repeat next action. I feel like that's pretty good. I've used that before. Like if I use it with the five damage or something. I'm going to get rid of the nudge. Might as well eat that. Okay. So either one of these doesn't really matter. Because I get access to both the shop and the apples either way. Oh, that blind two dice is so jarring against this character. This, the Kraken's going to beat me again. Oh, right. <laughs> this Kraken will be the end of me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So I've got one is a 50% chance of uh, failing. Okay. Maybe I should just like always activate these two. Uh, so we know this is a six. Because it's not triggering that. Uh, I'm just going to take the down. Okay, so we're still under. So let's take that as the shield. Okay, it failed. And then we'll do the two damage. Okay, that was a bad play because I should have realized I was still under. Okay. It's fine, we're learning. So, I feel like we six bait with this one. That was a three. Uh, so this one's a six. Do you want to just do the damage? So we're on nine. That was probably a misplay. But I wanted the guaranteed damage. At least we're going to kill him this time, I feel like. Last time we got absolutely wrecked by him. Uh, so if we auto roll, so long as we get a two, then we kill him. Nice. Oh, that was stress. Uh... So yeah, we might as well take both of those. What's the shop saying? Trade the just plain damage one for... Has to be even. Nah. No, no, no. Uh, I guess we kill this guy to get the chest. Seeing as we definitely have to kill him anyway. What's this guy do? Okay. This seems easier than the uh, the last one. Why so many sixes all the time? Maybe I take the extra roll. Just just to actually get some damage in.
Okay, it's going to be a close fought battle, turns out. We've got the auto roll now. Let's risk it. Ah, oh, we risked it. Worth it. So we do the five damage. Get that boy in there. Okay, he's definitely dead next turn. We just want him to do as little damage as possible. What, does that just mean we can't... Yeah, that just means we can't use it. Four. Boom. This time... We're going to go all the way. I've got a good feeling. I've got 16 health. That's kind of bad. Roll two sixes. But the sixes aren't really like, good for us. I think I just need to go down. I don't think I can afford to fight that guy. Oh, and this time I have to kill two people to get through? I think I'm going to die here. I think this could be it. You start regenerating health, maybe. This is going to be impossible. Oh, you got the double sixes? Fuck off. Should have used that one first. That was a misplay. Okay, we still got a chance. We still got a chance. This guy does pretty low damage, but the poison is kind of sucky. Oh, come on, 50% bullshit. Twelve damage left. Twelve each. I don't even get a heart after killing this guy, that's the dumb thing. Oh he didn't he didn't even curse me. Oh, because I was already cursed. Oh jeez. Uh uh. <laughs> What do I do? I guess I have to just put that in there. Take that. And just hope that... Oh, we were one short. One short. Oh my god. GG. GG, Mr. Direwolf. You have bested me. Wow. It's almost 10 o'clock, and I have work tomorrow. So I think I'm going to have to leave it there. Thank you for joining me on this test stream. I think it went pretty well, but I guess we'll wait for the VOD to see. But yeah, thank you for joining me. I will see you again soon. See you later.